Okay, this is a cinch knot, but a better way of doing it. Uh, and I'm always asked uh, whenever I'm doing some kind of demonstration uh, and people see how I tie a cinch knot, they're always uh, asking me how to do it. So the traditional way is to take, this is my hook, this is the string, is to take it, put it through the eye of the hook, you cradle the hook so you have both hands free, and then you take your tag end, the short end is the tag end, and you turn it around and around, and then eventually put it through the most inner hole loop, grabbing the tag end, and then just pulling the knot together, licking it, and then putting the knot together. That's the standard way of doing it. And it, it works pretty well. You know, I mean, I've seen people twirl their flies, but that just messes up their flies. So you always want to just kind of cradle the fly and do this. It, it works, but when you're talking about small flies and your hands are cold and you want to do it fast, um, there's got to be a better way. Some people use the improved clinch knot or cinch knot, and uh, I just don't think it's as good. So here's my method, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you take your hook, you put the tag in through the hole, which is probably the hardest part. Your line hangs through your the crook of your hand, and you hold the tag end with just a little bit of it sticking out. Then you take your hemostats, and you know how you go whoopee? Okay, so you kind of push down on the hook, spin it however many times you want, five or six times. Then you come up with your the tip of your hemostats, pull it down through, and I usually pull it about the length of the hook. At that point, the knot is tied. Then all you have to do is grab your hook and your line, and you pull it through, and you get, as you can see, almost a perfect cinch knot every time. Okay? Now, let me show you, let me show you that one more time, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing here. So let's, so you first put your line through the hole, take your line, have it in the crook of your hands, and using your thumb and forefinger, pinch the tag end. So there's just a little bit of tag end sticking out, okay? Then get your hemostats and unclick them, but stick them through that loop push down a little bit and you see I'm kind of grabbing a little bit down here so that part doesn't get loose push down and then do this twirly thing grab the tag end it pulls it through the hole doing this kind of slow with a big cord pull it through the hole but you don't want to pull too much on this just pull it about the length of your fly, and then you can then lick it, and then just cinch it right down. Then trim your tag end You're pretty close, and that is a nice clean knot. All the all the ties are very nice and concentric. It's a it's a very it's a very very good knot. Where's the where's the camera? Okay, here we go. So let's let's try this on a regular fly see what it looks like. So I have a kind of a small woolly bugger here. This is like the, I think a number six. And I have some very, very fine. I think this is 4X tippet. It's going to be hard to see, but we're going to give it a try. So I stick it through the hole. I'm hanging it. And see, and I'm holding the tippet right there. I get my hemostats. Stick it through. One, two, three, four, five. 
grab the tip, pull through, and then all you have to do at this point is lubricate and then just pull that down and you got a beautiful cinch knot on the end of that. And that puppy just won't come loose. It is really, really good. Um, I've shown this to a lot of guides and stuff and uh, they all like, oh, show that to me, show that to me. And it works really well. This is great, particularly like in the winter when you're wearing gloves and stuff, you can do it with your gloves. The trick is just take a piece of cord like I did here. Do it about a million times to where you're not even thinking about it. And you'll figure out the right tension and everything. And you always have your hemostats with you. Um, so, you're, so you're good to go. I mean, it's a very easy knot to tie. All right? So that was my cinch knot a better way. Ooh.